Hello and welcome to 100 Days of Summer. I'm Christian Page. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, a pretty exciting day because I just received in the post, well, I slipped under my door, my official letter confirming that I've completed, as of tomorrow, my 14 days of quarantine and I'm allowed out into the city. I passed all my PCR tests and, yeah, really thrilled to, be, to have uh, joined a very kind of uh, an elite group, really, of quarantiners who've made it to the games, honestly. And I think all credit to those who did it before me um, and paved the way because it, it isn't, it's, an, it's a, not an easy process. Um, you know, it's uh, confronting in some ways, um, but at the same time, I've had an opportunity to pause and, and do kind of a lot of, lot of work. Uh, but like I say, uh, really grateful that I've had the opportunity to come here and, and have this experience. It's all part of the journey, which is making this game incredibly special and historic. What it also means is that we've kind of covered in the last 79 days. Uh, my, my goal was to really share as much as I could and, and in, give you insights into the technology stack. We started and we talked about telecoms and we talked about radios, we talked about venue technology, we've talked about results, we've talked about applications and then I've talked a little bit about Diva which is one of the projects which we'll hopefully get some more insights as we travel around the venues. So hopefully that's given you some, some, some guides, some ideas of some of the work that the teams do in delivering the technology program. Uh, for the games um, and also we've had some some fun along the way as well and I thought I'd finish today because I'm going out into to the venues you know, sort of starting this weekend um, one of the th really important uh, tools that I've got to have in my tool bag is a hard hat now because the sites are still under construction um, it's super important now look for decades I've traveled the world with big fat bulky hard hats. I've probably hit a lot of people with them hanging off the back of my, my bag um, as I've got in and out of cars and buses and, and trains um, and anyone that's worked in, in events and production and especially on live event sites, um, you'll know what I'm talking about. You know, carrying around you know, your PPE, super important, got to have it, no question. Uh, but it's a bit bulky. Now, one of the things I was super excited to hear about when I got here was the fact that we, could, we can get collapsible hard hats. Now, it may be that you can get them in other parts of the world. I just have never come across them before until I got here. So we're going to do a little special unboxing today. I thought I'd share it with you all um, of the opening of my newly received just today, um, my collapsible hard hat. So let me just grab it. So <laughs> here's the box. Here's what, it's, here's what it's meant to look like. The first thing I noticed is how thin it is. Now this isn't the thickness of a hard hat that I'm used to. So let's get on with it. Let's see what's in the box. All right. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, how cool is that? Okay, first thing you notice is it comes in a really nice cloth bag. Now I've never had a hard hat <laughs> that I've ever bought that it comes in a nice soft Dilly bag um, with a nice brand. There's the brand, the balloon brand. Um, okay, first thing I notice, <laughs> it literally looks like someone's taken a hard hat and squashed it. Um, that's super thin. That is so easily going to fit in my backpack. I'm going to be able to throw them in the back and get on and off in and out of cars and buses and trains and uh, not be a problem. Okay, now here's the fun part. Let's see what's in the bag. All right. Oh my goodness, it literally looks like... <laughs> I don't know about you, but it, look how thin that is. That's amazing. But it does li literally look like someone's taken a, a, a traditional hard hat and just gone over it with a roller, a big steamroller. <laughs> That's how I was to call them as kids. All right, let's see how it works. Now, fortunately, there's a big yellow label, so I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that you pull it. There's some instructions, but I'm a man. We don't read instructions. We don't need them, um, <laughs> do we? <laughs> All right, so let's see what happens when I pull this. All right. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. How simple is that? <laughs> Instant hard hat. There we go. Alrighty, so I'm assuming that links in there somewhere. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh, I got my straps. And away we go. <laughs> and it fits. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, so there we have it. I'm now set and ready to go out and hit the venues from tomorrow. Um, I've got my new collapsible hard hat, um, which I can take with me to around all the venues, keep my head safe. Um, 
and hopefully I'll be able to meet you and introduce you to some of the teams uh, that are actually doing the deployment, some of the teams that have been here working really, really hard to make these games happen with all the challenges, with all of the obstacles, with all the hurdles, with all those sort of little things that we know that happen in events, but this is particularly special. As I mentioned earlier, this is historic. This is, you know, this is a new way of delivery and we've all learnt uh, that this is probably one of the toughest, uh, but certainly will be the most rewarding, I, I have no doubt. So, wherever you are, stay safe and healthy, um, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. I hope you've enjoyed our little unboxing exercise and have enjoyed uh, seeing my collapsible heart as much as I have. Uh, wherever you are, stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.